commitment. My view of relationships and marriage is this: when the couple are going now, there are marriages involved. When they become entangled, they are still only involved, maybe more deeply. When they publicly express marriage vows, that is commitment. The meaning of the marriage ceremony is the commitment. During a ceremony, to bring home the meaning in a way people usually remember for the rest of their life. I explain that the difference between involvement and commitment is the same as the difference between backgrounds and ends. At this point, the in-laws and friends start to pay attention. They begin to wonder, what has Bacon and Ed got to do with marriage? I continue, with Bacon and Ed, the chicken is only in verse, but the bitch is commit. Let this be a paid merit. The chicken and the duck. This was a favorite story of my teacher, Atanta, of not a talent. A newly married couple went for a walk together in the wood. Once by summers, even as after dinner, they were having shirt. A wonderful time being together until they heard a shout in the distance. What? What? Listen, says the wife. That must be a chicken. No, no, that was a duck, said the husband. No, I'm sure that was a chicken, she said. Impossible. Chickens go, co a double do, ducks go walk walk. That's a duck, darling, he says, with the first sign of irritation. Walk walk, it's when again. See, it's a duck, he says. No, yeah, that's a chicken. I'm both sitting. She asserts, "This gig in her head." Listen, wife, that is a duck. D U C K duck. Got it? He says angrily. But it's a chicken. She rotated. It's a blooming duck. You, you, and it's when what was again before he says something. He out. The wife were almost in tears. But it's a chicken. The husband saw the tear welling up in his white eyes, and the last remembers why he has married her. His face softened, and he said gently, "Sorry, darling. I think you must be right. That is a chicken. Thank you, darling," she said, and she squeezed his hand. What was? Came the sound down the wood, as they continued their walk together in love. The boss of the story does the husband finally a west can to worse. Who cared whether it is a chicken or a duck? What were much more important was their harmonies together, that they could enjoy their work on such a fine summer evening. How many merit? Are broken over 
and important masters. How many disperses sit chicken or duck studs? When we understand this story, we will remember our priorities. The merit is more important than being right about whether is it a chicken or a duck. Anyways, how many times uh, has we been absolutely, certainly, and positively convinced we are right only to find out we were wrong later? Who knows? That could have been a genetically modified chicken made to sound like a duck. For the sake of gender equality and a before life as a monk. Each time I tell the story, I usually switch around the one who say it's a chicken and the one who say it's a duck. Ready to. After a wedding ceremony in Singapore, a few years ago, the father of the bride took his new song in laws style to give him some advice on how to keep the marriage long and happy. You probably love and doubt her a lot. He said to the young man, Oh yes, the young man sighed. And you probably think that she is the most wonderful person in the world. The old man continued, She's so perfect in each and every way, the young man quoted. That's how it is when you get married said the old man, but after a few years, you will begin to see the flowers in my daughter. When you do begin to notice her faults, I want you to remember this. If she didn't have those faults to begin with, son-in-law, she would have married someone much better than you. So. We should always be grateful for the faults in our partner because if the distant have those faults from the star, they would have been able to marry someone much better than us. Romances When we are in love, we see only the good breaks in our bad world. That's the all we want to see. So that is all we do see. We are in danger. Later, when we go to our liars to fight for this force, we only see the best break in our banners war. We are light to any redeeming quality. We don't want to see those, so we don't see them. We go into the mid the news again. Why is is the romance happens is a darkly this nightclub or at an intimate dinner by candlelight or at the night under the moonlight. It is because in those situations you cannot see on her pimples or his front teeth, but under candlelight. Our imagination is free to fantasize that the girl's sister of bosses could be a supermodel. All the men had the look 
for of a movie star. We love to fantasize, and we fantasize to love. At least we should know what we are doing. Monks iron into candlelit romance. Dares into turning up the lights and reality. If you want to dream, don't visit a monastery. In my first year as a monk in the north of Thailand, I was traveling in the path of a car with two other Western monks, and with at that time my teacher sitting. In the front passenger seat, Atenta suddenly turns around and looks at the young American novice monk sitting next to me, and then says something in Thai. The Dutch Western monk in the car was fluent in Thai and translates for us. Atenta says that you are thinking about your girlfriend's box in L.A. The tall, us, the American nose is the brush on more to the floor. Atenta has been breathing his bows accurately. Atenta smiles and his next words were translated as "Don't worry, we can face that." Next time you try to her, ask her to send. To you, something special, or something intimately connected to her, which you can bring out whenever you miss. Con- you miss us. Remind to remind you of her. Is that allow a post for a monk? Ask the novice, surprised. Sure, said Atenta. Perhaps monk. Understand romance after all. What I just said next took many minutes to translate. Our translator had to stop laughing and pull himself together first. I just said he started to get the words out, wiping away tears of mist. I just said you should ask her to send you. A bottle of her seat. Then, whenever you miss her, you can bring out the bottle and open it. Well, it is something personal. And then, and when we express our love for our partner, don't we say we love everything about them? The same advice. Would be given to a nun missing her boyfriend. As I said, if you want the fantasy of romance, steer clear of our monastery.